let's talk a little bit about portraiture in art. A couple of questions to consider when thinking and talking about portraits is, what is a portrait? Why are portraits created? Who are portraits made for? What do portraits tell us? What do portraits not tell us? And why are portraits important? So what is a portrait? Why are portraits created? A portrait is a painting, photograph, sculpture, or other artistic representation of a person in which the face and its expression is the focus. Portraits are made to show the likeness, personality, and even the mood of the person. Portraits capture the image of a person in a particular moment in time. The three different styles of portraits that I'd like to talk about are constructed, candid, and creative. A constructed portrait, like the one on the left-hand side of the screen, is directed by the artist. That means that the person sitting for the portrait is posed or given directions on how to sit by the artist. The portrait in the middle is called a candid portrait. This means that the sitter was not directed by the artist. And in some cases, the person in the portrait might not even be aware that an artist is taking a portrait of them. The last portrait is called a creative portrait, like the one on the right-hand side of the screen. A creative portrait means that some or all of the elements in the portrait have been changed by the artist. The changes that the artist makes do not reflect real life. Just like there are different styles of portraits, there are also different types of portraits. The first type is just a standard portrait, which means it's a picture of a person created by somebody else. A self-portrait, like the one in the middle of artist Frida Kahlo, is created by the artist. So a self-portrait is a portrait created by the artist of the artist. The one on the right hand side is a group portrait. This can include other people as well as the artist or just other people. So what do portraits tell us? And what do portraits not tell us? A portrait, especially a self-portrait, can sometimes tell us about a person's story, life, and identity. It can show us, the viewer, a little bit about who a person is or how they want to be seen. Identity is a word that is used to describe who we are. We all have visible identity characteristics that people can see just by looking at us, and we also have identity characteristics that are invisible and we can't see on the outside. Another word for identity characteristics is identity markers. It's important to remember that all identities are important, and portraits can be a powerful way to share our stories about who we are see our differences, and celebrate them through art. Some identity markers might seem like they are visible, but they are not always. It's important not to assume something about someone's identity just by looking at them. As you get to know someone, you learn more about their identity depending on what they are comfortable sharing with you. Identity can also change over time. Identity can include things like race, feelings, education, language, gender, religion, interests, disability, ethnicity, age, hobbies and interests, family, mental health, and so much more. So let's review. Identity is a word that is used to describe who we are. We all have visible identity characteristics that people can see just by looking at us, and we also have identity characteristics that are invisible and we can't see on the outside. Another word for identity characteristics is identity markers. Now that you've learned much more about portraits and self-portraits, why do you think portraits are important in art? Think to yourself, why do artists make them? What kind of portrait could you make? What could you show on your portrait?